Hello my Spunky Stampers, this is Tanya Weir with Spunky Cards and I have a quick video for you to show you how I store my embossing folders. We've been talking about embossing folders on the blog all month, or dry embossing for that matter, and embossing folders come in different sizes and what I like to do is I like to be able to see mine. If it's stuck in a drawer, I will not use it. And look, I have all of these different beautiful, gorgeous embossing folders. And so what I did is I take my stuff when I look for storage solutions to the store with me and just see what fits. And this basket here is so cool in that it even has the exact width of my plates. So this sits right next to my Big Shot. And then I have a bunch of little folders that are real skinny. They... Um, are really cool and um, if I have them in here they just fall all over so I have them in this little can and um, I thought it'd be cute, cute to show you how I'm gonna dress that up so you ready let me put you up here and move my stand here I use um, recycled cans for all kinds of projects and they are so cool because they're so cheap so I want to cover this with a little bit of color and I'm going to grab my favorite designer Sears paper when I um, really really fall in love with something I like to use it on a project that I get to see and enjoy all the time so since this is going to be out next to my big shot in my space it is perfect so um, we need a ruler and the length of our can four and a quarter will get it just a little bit past that I'm going to be flush with the bottom so I am going to this is going to be up this will be down and I want that to be below this. Really, it doesn't matter. Um, because we're also going to add some ribbon. But so I'm going to attach it. Perfect. And I'm going to cut this off so it's flush. Okay. So this part is ready to go. That's going to wrap around the curvature. But I'm also, you see how tall it is? I'm going to trim this down to four and a quarter inches. Now if you wanted to, we could have measured this ahead of time. But I didn't, so I gotta go step by step. So this will go around here. And I have no problem wrapping it a little bit past. But as you can tell, it doesn't want to curve. And we're going to have to roll it. Well, the beautiful thing about paper is you can curl it. Oops. So let me just bend it. See how it starts to curl? And that's going to make our job a lot easier when we hot glue gun it. now it's not going to fight us nearly as bad beautiful okay let me sit down so got it right here and um, my hot glue gun has been sitting here waiting for me. And I'm gonna and bend this towards, and then I'm gonna grab my bone folder to press it. Because that glue is hot. I don't want to touch that. Beautiful. And as soon as it cools down, it's set up. So 
now I am down here. some glue right along here and press. So this is one of those little two minute projects where from in two minutes you go from PU to wow. And I'm just applying pressure because once it's set up, once it cools down, this is not going to come up. Very, very cool. Now, if you wanted to, you could also decorate the inside. I am doing one more thing. I've got some cute matching ribbon that I'm going to tie around. And then this baby is done. And my stamp room is that much prettier. As long as I make sure that my focal point is opposite the seam, nobody will be looking at the seam. There we go. Very, very cool and super cute. So, like I said, use your, use your prettiest paper for this and turn your stamp from, stamping space from simple to super chic and spunky. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, every day is a great day to make spunky cards, and I'll see you again soon.